The AI revolution has a dirty little secret because while ChatGPT dazzles us with human-like conversations and Google VO is creating lifelike videos from text prompts, these AI systems are devouring electricity at an alarming rate. Now, with the rise of AI technology, demand on power plants is increasing, in large part to AI's reliance on data centers. Environmental impact of these data centers that are at the heart of AI. Their environmental impact is huge and it's growing. They need energy even when the wind isn't blowing and the sun isn't shining, which means they're even more reliant on fossil fuels and those stable sources of energy like a gas power plant than other sources of energy demand. For example, training GPT-4 alone consumed 50 gigawatt hours of electricity. That's enough to power San Francisco for three whole days. Every chat GPT query uses 10 times more energy than a Google search. And by 2028, US data centers could consume 12% of all electricity, almost triple what it is today. So this energy crisis threatens to derail both the AI revolution and our climate goals. But OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman, saw this coming years ago. That's why, since 2015, he's been betting on an obscure nuclear startup called Oklo, a company that hasn't built a single reactor or hasn't made a dollar in revenue, yet it still trades at an $11 billion market cap. This isn't just another tech bubble story. It's about the convergence of two existential challenges, humanity's need for abundant clean energy and the insatiable power demands of artificial intelligence. And if Altman's bet pays off, Oklo could be the key to solving both, because the numbers are staggering. Google's data centers doubled their energy consumption in just four years, reaching 30.8 terawatt hours in 2024. So to put that in global perspective, that's more energy than entire countries like Ireland or Denmark consume in a year. And that's not all. OpenAI's new $500 billion Stargate initiative plans to build data centers requiring five gigawatts each. That's the equivalent to powering the entire city of Miami. But the conventional solution, renewable energy, simply can't keep up because solar panels average just 23% capacity factor and wind turbines 34%, all while data centers need 99.999% uptime. Battery storage at the scale needed would cost California alone $2.5 trillion. The math doesn't work, something that landmen know all too well. You have any idea how much diesel they have to burn to mix that much concrete? or make that steel and haul this shit out here and put it together with a 450 foot crane. You wanna guess how much oil it takes to lubricate that fucking thing or winterize it? And it's 20 year lifespan, it won't offset the carbon footprint of making it. And never mind the fact that if the whole world decided to go electric tomorrow, we don't have the transmission lines to get the electricity to the cities. It'd take 30 years if we started tomorrow. So enter Oak Low and their radical vision. Nuclear reactors the size of shipping containers that run on recycled nuclear waste, operate for 20 years without refueling, and literally cannot melt down, because traditional nuclear plants are monuments to complexity and cost. For example, Georgia's plant Vogtel, its shining jewel to answer the state's growing population, well, that took over 15 years to build, cost over $35 billion, and covers thousands of acres. The reactor vessel alone weighs 1,200 tons. Not to mention that these plants need thousands of workers and consume up to three liters of water for every kilowatt hour produced. But Oklo's Aurora reactor flips this model entirely. Take a look at this. Some people might think that this place looks more like a modern ski lodge than a power plant. But believe it or not, it generates 15 to 75 megawatts. That's enough to power 10,000 to 60,000 homes, or in our case, a large data center. And it's all from a footprint of just a few acres. No massive cooling towers, no army of operators, no proximity to water required. So what's their secret? Well, it lies in fast neutron technology, 
based on the experimental breeder reactor 2 that operated flawlessly for 30 years at Idaho National Laboratory. Because in 1986, scientists deliberately tried to cause a meltdown by shutting off all cooling systems at full power. But the reactor safely shut itself down through physics alone. No human intervention, no backup systems, just the natural expansion of the metal core slowing the nuclear reaction. And thus, the foundation of Oak Low was born. And this passive safety is revolutionary. Oak Low is deploying advanced fission powerhouses with the goal of providing clean, reliable, and affordable energy at scale. Existing nuclear plants already generate large amounts of clean electricity. Because you see, traditional reactors rely on active systems, pumps, valves, backup generators, human operators making split-second decisions. But what makes Aurora's safety different is that it's built into the laws of physics. So if it overheats, then it automatically cools down. It's like having a thermostat embedded in the atomic structure itself. But what sets Oaklow apart from traditional power plants is that they aren't actually selling the reactors themselves, but instead, they're selling the electricity. So instead of customers buying, licensing, and operating their own nuclear plant, Oaklow builds, owns, and operates the reactors themselves, and the customers sign 20 to 30 year power purchase agreements at fixed prices. And this model is perfectly aligned with the needs of data centers, military bases, and remote industrial sites that need reliable, carbon-free power but don't want to become nuclear operators. The company has already secured 14 gigawatts in letters of intent, equivalent to 14 traditional nuclear plants, including agreements with data center operator Switch, oil giant Diamondback Energy, and the U.S. Air Force. And this is why Sam Altman believes in this company so much that he invested in it. But Altman's involvement goes beyond typical venture check writing because he owns approximately 6% of Oak Low worth $63 million, and he served as chairman of the board from 2015 until April 2025, when he strategically stepped down to open up opportunities for future deals between OpenAI and Oak Low. And trust me, this timing is no coincidence, because the entire AI industry is racing toward nuclear. Google signed a 500 megawatt deal with Kairos Power. Amazon invested $500 million in X Energy. Microsoft is restarting Three Mile Island, but Altman positioned himself years before the crowd, recognizing that abundant AI requires abundant energy. But like I can say with conviction, the world needs a lot more processing power. This is Trenta, Helion's sixth generation nuclear fusion generator. This fusion generator is unlike any other using a completely novel approach to achieve nuclear fusion. And his broader nuclear strategy extends beyond Oklo. For instance, he's invested $375 million in fusion startup Helion Energy, his largest single investment ever. And the Wall Street Journal reports OpenAI is in talks to buy vast quantities of electricity from Helion for future data centers. Altman is building an energy ecosystem to power the AI revolution and Oak Low is right in the center of it all. But today, Oak Low is still facing some real challenges because in January 2022, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission rejected their first license application, citing insufficient technical information, which was a devastating blow for a company that had spent years in pre-application engagement. The atom bomb has put a cloud over humanity, but nuclear power could be one of the solutions to climate change. About, you know, you don't build a nuclear reactor without getting a license. You don't build an AI system without getting a license. But Oklo persevered because the 2024 Advance Act revolutionized nuclear licensing, cutting fees by 55% and potentially reducing approval timelines by 50 to 85%. By March 2025, the NRC began their pre-application readiness assessment with no significant gaps identified. Oaklo plans to submit the revised application by late 2025, targeting commercial operation by 2027. But even with all of this help, Oaklo's path to success isn't guaranteed because the competition is fierce. First, there's NuScale, which already has NRC approval. Then there's the Bill Gates-backed TerraPower, which has begun construction in Wyoming with $750 million in DOE funding not to mention countless other startups popping up every month. But Oaklo does still have its own unique advantages because their fast reactor technology can extract 60 times more energy from uranium than traditional reactors. 
and can literally run on America's 90,000 tons of nuclear waste, turning a massive liability into an energy source. Not to mention the fact that each Aurora reactor saves approximately 1 million tons of CO2 over its lifetime compared to fossil fuels. Nuclear SMRs produce just 9 grams of CO2 per kilowatt hour, 50 times less than natural gas, 90 times less than coal. The International Energy Agency calls nuclear indispensable for cost-effective net-zero pathways. But the environmental case goes beyond carbon. By using recycled nuclear waste as fuel, Oklo addresses one of AI data center's biggest criticisms, the fact that they are slowly killing the planet. So Oklo's planned fuel recycling facility could fix this by creating a closed loop system, which is taking spent fuel from other reactors, extracting the remaining energy, and dramatically reducing the volume of waste requiring long-term storage. And if Oklo succeeds, the implications are transformational. Because data centers could proliferate without carbon guilt, edge computing could deploy anywhere. The path to artificial general intelligence wouldn't be blocked by energy scarcity. What about like the environmental effects of those? And it's water to cool them, right? It takes power to power them. I think we need to get to fusion as fast as possible. Get to what? Nuclear fusion. So the convergence is remarkable. Fast reactor technology proven in the 1980s, rediscovered by MIT students, backed by Silicon Valley's most influential leader, arriving just as AI creates unlimited demand for clean, reliable power. Oklo stock has surged 153% over the past year and 265% year-to-date in 2025, giving the company an $11 billion market cap despite having no revenue yet. So finally, Wall Street sees what Altman saw a decade ago, the convergence of AI's energy crisis and nuclear's renaissance. So the bottom line is that Sam Altman's decade-long bet on Oklo represents more than an investment. It's a vision for how humanity powers the future. Because in a world where AI doubles its energy consumption every few months and climate change demands zero carbon solutions, small modular nuclear reactors offer perhaps the only viable path forward. This is Diablo Canyon, the last functioning nuclear power plant in California. Though scheduled to shut down in 2025, the state recently extended its operations by up to five more years. Global energy disruptions caused by Russia's war in Ukraine and sky-high fuel prices mean aging nuclear plants are getting a new lease on life. I, I think it's, you know, one of these elements that just add up to the the, the, the pressure to see if, if we can continue operating these. But Oklo's success isn't guaranteed because the regulatory path remains treacherous, the competition is fierce, and public acceptance is still uncertain. But if they succeed in deploying their Aurora powerhouses at scale, they won't just power OpenAI's path to artificial general intelligence, they might literally save the environment in the process. For investors, entrepreneurs, and anyone who cares about both AI's potential and Earth's future, Oklo represents the kind of bet that could define the next century. It's high risk, high reward, and absolutely essential. Because as Altman knows better than anyone, the future of intelligence, artificial or otherwise, runs on energy.